Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little different delivery day that you guys are normal to. I know you guys probably all follow this channel for the motorcycles, but as you can see behind us, we do have a little bit of collections of cars. Bogna's Q60 uh, S. We have the Super Beast back here. We just got the farm truck back and the collection grows today by one. Now, I'll give you a teeny bit of backstory. The truck is almost here. When it gets here, I'll let you guys identify which car it is. But uh, this is actually my very first car. It is uh, a little bit different from my very first car, but uh, I found this car on bringatrailer.com. If you guys aren't familiar with it, just don't go there. Trust me, don't go there. Um, <clears throat> I got turned onto this site about a year ago and every single morning before I get up when I'm checking my phone in bed, I look at the bringatrailer.com and it's just, they have such amazing vehicles on there. So I accidentally bought this car. Now when I say I accidentally bought this car, um, it kind of literally was an accident. So about two weeks ago, I was on there, I found this car. I was like, if I own another one of these cars, it's gonna be this car. And I found it and um, I was about 10 minutes from going into the chiropractor and I was thinking, God, this auction's gonna close in there. The price is really low. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot out this number. So I shot out a $10,000 bid thinking, you know, usually these auctions, they, uh, in the last couple minutes, they just shoot up tens of thousands of dollars. And, um, oh my God, here comes the truck. Oh my God, there it is. It's on the back. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, anyways, um, and uh, I won. And here comes the big rig. Uh, coming down the road and uh, the excitement level that I have right now is absolutely spot on 100% and uh, oh my god I'm so excited you guys so absolutely excited so um, what do you think what is it is it the Porsche did I get an Audi Oh, you guys. So my very first car that I bought out of high school was a 1965 Chevrolet Corvair Corsa. And today we take delivery of our new to us 20, uh, excuse me, 1965 Corvair Corsa. What's up guys? Uh, and there she is. And so this thing is just a little bit different because uh, well, this thing doesn't have a motor in the back. So let's get this thing off the truck and uh, let's take a look at this thing up close and personal because um, I just can't tell you the excitement level I have to have this car in the collection. So let's get this thing off and uh, do a good walk around. All right, well, we're getting ready to get this thing unloaded. Our very first cold start. Uh-oh. <laughs> So we got a little hill here. Oh, I love the color. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh. I don't even know. Let's let's get in and get our first cold start. So if you guys aren't familiar with these. So we got our nice little valve flapper. Oh. So there she is. So we're definitely gonna get in this thing for a first drive today, but uh, my excitement level is just like 100. Um, if you guys are familiar with Corvairs, usually this is where the engine is. 
Um, and uh, so this is a, a uh, 1965 Corvair Corvette, Corvette and it is uh, the the transplant motor is out of a 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. So um, let me get in with these guys. These guys are just moving so fast. Thank you guys so much, and uh, let's take this thing for our first drive today. All right, well, it's been a couple days and we have the 65 Corvair in the driveway. We're actually getting ready to head over to Jim's over at RPM Mufflers. He's gonna put it up on the lift and uh, help me out, take a look at this thing and see uh, how the Corvette conversion uh, has basically taken. Is it been done right? Has it been done wrong? Find out all the things that are wrong with it. But uh, we did give it a nice bath and uh, a little bit a little bit more problems than originally described there are a few little bubbles uh, that are in the paintwork which Eddie Eddie uh, we knew about this guy this is a big bubble um, so we're probably gonna have to repaint the hood and have him do some touch-up but uh, let's go ahead and get this thing so uh 1965 corvair it is a monza model and it has basically had a transplant uh, i think in the original video i said 1960 uh 79 uh 69 it's a 79 corvette is basically what the motor transmission and rear end are out of but uh get a little cold start So we got to remember now uh, we have a carbureted car finally in the collection and um, not only do we not have air conditioning, we get to roll down some windows, but um, we got to wait for the car to warm up. But let's do a little tour now. Some of the interior. So first the interior just needs to be redone, so don't even look at the interior. But um, what's crazy is that this guy probably could have gotten a lot more money if he would have A, washed the car and B, vacuumed it he actually this is what it looked like when he put it up for auction like he didn't even clean the thing so a little bit crazy that people don't go the extra mile and um you know actually list this thing correctly uh, i would probably say i could turn it as it is cleaned up just not even doing anything to it probably for another five thousand dollars just profit off of it but some of the things like the door things they're a couple hundred bucks for brand new ones the door panels are new there's actually some receipts in here um, and it looks like about two years ago they did some massive work to this they replaced the door panels and uh, the front fenders are replaced and some of the door trims and the visors and just some different things that they did to this they just didn't do it all the way so let's get this thing over to Jim's uh, at RPM let's get it up on the uh, lift give you guys a look at the uh, Chevy 350 motor in the Corvair and uh, let's see how bad this build really is all right well we've got it up on the lift and uh, Jim says not too bad not too shabby so let's get under this thing and take a look now uh, so the rear end so obviously if you guys are Corvair people you know the motor is supposed to be here uh, rear end out of a the 79 Corvette we believe um, and all of the uh, rear brakes all of this is all Corvair and uh, coming down what's nice is the basically the the axle um, or the drive train is all the way through the floorboard into the transmission now what is nice is you said this is probably out of a mid 80s yeah so uh overdrive transmission which is which is going to be very nice i haven't driven it on the freeway yet so um but uh 350 uh chevy motor and uh s10 brakes looks like most of the front end is really all original uh but it looks like there's been some components uh that have been replaced but realistically a very you know like the fuel line very kind of cleanly done uh they've done you know a lot of the cross member and all of the kind of underbody paint was all done prior to putting it all back together so realistically down here not too bad uh we may fix up the exhaust at some point 
but uh, all in all, not too bad. All right, so most of you guys know this is where the engine is, and this is actually now where the fuel tank is. Spare tire and battery still retained back here. And uh, coming up to the front, we'll show you the motor for the first time. And uh, that is, so we kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but this is the uh, basically the Chevy 350 out of a 79 Corvette. And like I said, you know, it, it looks like they did a really good job. The person that put it together really kind of did it what appears to almost be right. So we've got some things that we can obviously do to this motor, very easy motor to work on. Everything's right here. So uh, we might tinker with it a little bit, but all in all, my goal was not to do much to this. And I am happy to say, we might not have to do much to it. So uh, that's it. The 65 Corvette and uh, maybe some wheels next. Wheels got to go. And uh, some interior but outside that, the body work, get it cleaned up. And that's about all I'm going to be doing with it. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and of course, ring the bell notification. Uh, if you guys are into the Corvette, let me know. Comment down below. And Hopefully we'll get this thing out on the road for a nice drive. Uh, Bogdan is already terrified of the thing because it's got lap belts. It doesn't have the shoulder belts, but uh, not a bad little car. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.